In this tutorial, I'll show you how to import a point vial that's in a CSV from Microsoft into uh, Civil 3D. We're going to be working in here in the uh, Insert tab. Notice it's right next to the Insert. We have a whole, just like Microsoft products, we have a ribbon in here with all sorts of options. We're going to go to Insert and Points from File. This will put our point file in. Notice they come up with the selected files. You can bring in multiple if you like. Uh, all we're going to do is go hit plus and bring in our updated file. This does need to be updated based on how the specifications of the, um, how we specified in Excel to bring that in. Uh, you gotta make sure all no spaces are in there. You gotta make sure it's only numbers, um, all that kind of stuff. If you find that you ever did all that stuff and you still re receive a red X here, do make sure that the Excel file has to be closed in, or closed in order to be imported here. So it has to be closed. Just close Microsoft Excel down all the way and it should be ready to go. Now you'll notice that the next window shows us how it's going to be specified per column and there's something that says ENZ, ENZ at the top, this is common delimited, this is easting, northing, and uh, elevation or Z. Uh, in our case we need a PNZD and that's all the way at the bottom. So once you do that, do make sure that your point number comes in here. This has to be a number, uh, northing, easting, elevation, and then your raw description. So it'll bring in all five of those columns there. Uh, everything else we'll just leave as is. You, If you had all ground shot data or something like that, you could say add to point group and create it there. Um, other things listed here, but we're just gonna hit okay. And that's gonna bring our data in. Now initially you will not see that data, uh, but if you go here to either, uh, this is if this icon is showing here in the zoom tool, which is zoom extents, you can hit that. Or if not, just type Z, enter, that's for zoom. And then E extents, and it should bring up all that data. Now you'll notice that data, we've got some roadways and a parking lot here that's listed, but all that data just comes in as is and you're ready to go uh, from there. In the next file, uh, next videos, we'll show you how to modify this point file data.